Hello, I am Alex Montanarello. I am an applications engineer for Qualitrol Corporation, and today I'm going to talk about our seal and relay. What the seal and relay is designed for is that on a transformer, if you have a rapid pressure increase, the seal and relay is acting like a safety device for other units that you could have hooked up. Basically, it is a forewarning in case that this rapid pressure increases, there's no other damage to any other gauges or monitoring. All of our seal and relays have 11 terminals. Terminals one through three are where you would hook up our rapid pressure rise relay. Terminal one is the common, terminal two is the normally closed, and terminal three is the normally open contact. All seal and relays have a form C and a form A contact. Terminal six through eight is a form C contact that you can use to hook up any particular gauge you'd like, just in case of this rapid pressure increase. Terminals 9 and 10 are a Form A contact that are designed as basically a kill switch. So basically, if you have anything like a lockout relay that you know you don't want to get damaged, you would hook up to Terminals 9 and 10. Terminals 11 through 12 are your input voltage, and Terminal 13 you would use for ground. Below these terminals, you have your jumpers for different voltages that you can select. On the seal and relay itself, you see that we have a table listing the different kind of voltage patterns. On jumpers 1 and 2, you'll be running at 24 volts DC. On jumpers 2 and 3, you'll be running at 48 volts DC. And at jumpers 3 and 4, you'll be running either 120 volts AC or 125 volts DC. I have this unit hooked up and I'm going to show you how to test the seal and relay. Basically, what's going to happen is I'm going to simulate a rapid pressure increase by creating a jumper between pins 1 and pins 3 on the seal and relay. So when this happens, you will see the red LED fault light trip. That means that a rapid pressure rise has increased, the seal and relay has been activated, and all of these contacts have switched. To reset, you would press the red reset button, and this will clear the fault. This other LED is a yellow fault LED. And what this is meant to do is go off in case A, there is a short somewhere in the wiring, or B, there is a short somewhere on the board. Some tips for our seal and relay. This is our 909-300-01. We do have seal and relays that can go up to 240 VAC or 250 VDC. This is our 909-300-02, and it's rated for Class 1 Div 2 environments. On our new seal and relays, we have the normally open at Terminal 3. For our older models, like the 909-200 series, we used to have our normally open at Terminal 12. Do not create a jumper from Terminal 12 to Terminal 1. The seal and relay for the 909-300 would automatically do that internally. If you do create a jumper, that will cause a short and can cause damage to your board. Another feature on our new seal and relay is that if you are running AC or DC voltage, always make sure you ground terminal 13. Another also question we get a lot is, can I run a form A contact instead of a form C contact in terminals one through three? The answer is you can. The red trip light will not go off but the seal and relay will still function as normal. If you have any questions, please email us at info at and an application engineer will help you in assistance. Thank you.